Right, I am 205% sure this is about to crash about 5 million times before I can get it working properly. Oh, gee, sir, you uh, sure are quite happy to see me, aren't you? So today, my illegitimate love children, I'm back in the world of Europa Universalis 4 to do something again that's probably not worth doing. You know, the best thing about EE4 is the impeccable amount of scenarios that we can all experience together. You can really go ahead and quite literally paint your own scenarios. But what makes it even more better is that EE4, like Hoi4 back in the day, has a whole bunch of mods that just help me paint that picture a little bit better. So I have gone ahead and put a whole bunch of mods on that actually work together. The ones that don't work together, e.g. Mr. Long Brittany, uh, unfortunately had to be prematurely sliced off. So today what we have done is created the biggest monstrosity of mods ever seen before in EU4 and we've put them all on together. Most importantly we have the Africa and South America Swapperino Modarino. Followed up, of course, by everybody's favorite Fano snap mod, so half of these countries, either way about it, shall get snapped once again. And also, there would have been a couple other mods, specifically one that made Brittany very long, and one that put, uh, <clears throat> Texas up over here. But, unfortunately, that, a uh, Texas mod just doesn't exist, unfortunately, but maybe next time. Also, for whatever reason, Poland has been swapped with Arabia. So, um, I'm, I'm, I think we're just going to start off as Poland this time around and we shall see what happens. Uh, it's my favourite part of playing any sort of map game, which is, will it crash? It didn't crash, everybody! Get your claps in the chat! Ah, uh, someone shoot me. Well, that's not a good sign. Already I'm in a deficit, which means I probably didn't get lucky on the old province development randomizer, did I? That is incredibly red. Right, if I'm the loser here, question is who is the winner this time around? Wow. Really? You're gonna do me like this, Arabia? That's where I- That should have been me! And the most developed province is Porto and Portugal. Oh, hold on, sorry. It's followed secondly by Raska in Serbia. I, I, just, I just love randomized province development. It's the most beautiful thing that anyone has ever come up with. Good good one on that paradox. I'll give you, I'll give you that. Right, so I'm not going to commit too hard to Poland because obviously the Fano snap shall happen at some point and I have no idea if I'll even be alive. So we're, we're just going to take down our rebels and then we'll go from there. Well... Good news, regardless of my new status across the world, uh, Lithuania does in fact still love me. Thank you, baby. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, a crisis alert, everyone. The snap is occurring, and already there's a nation missing there. Oh, God, no. Oh, my God. The nations are literally disappearing all around me. I feel it this time. We got lucky last time around, but I don't, I don't feel that luck in the room this time. Oh. That is a 50-50 chance every time, and I think once again we, we did survive. Uh, really, really looking over here in Europe, though, it's already just becoming a mess of everyone colonizing everywhere. Kind of a suspiciously similar circumstance of last time, of France uh, didn't get snapped, but both Portugal and Spain got snapped and everyone in the British Isles got snapped, so we're gonna see a pretty similar situation as last time. Obviously, I have no idea what happened over there in the east, but for all I know, China could be completely gone, which, um, I don't know if that's a good thing or that's a bad thing. Uh-oh. Oh, God. That's definitely, that's definitely a bad thing? Well, you know the old saying, if you can't beat China, sell opium to them. Wait, no, hold on, wrong saying. Now, despite having a whack AF starting position down here, I think we can turn this around, maybe. I don't actually know. The development around here is pretty terrible. Oh, just exactly what we needed. A man who could exploit the gold out of the population down here. I mean, it, it says Midas Touch, but it's a national tax modifier bonus, which means I'm, I'm just hitting the peasants harder, right? Oh, I almost forgot to send my rivals, and look at that, the pitiful Arabia doesn't even have a naval strength anywhere near us, because they don't even have a navy, but they do have a 67% more stronger army than me. Hmm. I think the navy might win us that war, though, if it ever comes to it. Ah, oh, I just realised, even though South America has been moved, we can still hunt for the uh, seven cities, so yo, yo, you never know, we might get the fountain of youth down there somewhere. Ooh, bit of an issue with the mod I found that swaps uh, the continents is that uh, because they haven't actually fixed the trade nodes, technically we're just pushing a bunch of trade into the Brazilian rainforest. 
and that's it. We're just dumping it there. It's um, it's kind of like how I imagine they uh, dumped all those Atari copies of like E.T. in the desert somewhere. Well, this is more, it's kind of like that, but with like rare textiles and spice. <gasps> Oh my god, we're on to the fountain of youth. We've got to get it. Oh, <laughs> and of course, we got the birth of colonialism. I think that might actually mess up a bit of Europe. Oh my god, yeah, it spawned all the way in Yemen. Okay, uh, well, Europe, you're going to be a little bit behind for a while. Oh, jeez, well, uh, um, Naxos just got me under a personal union against Hungary, which uh, means for some reason, Kara Quinlu is now sieging down Hungary. You know, it's just one of the more interesting things that can happen in EU4. Oh my bejesus! We actually got the Fountain of Youth! <laughs> Right, we, we need to make sure that we actually snipe this place down here, uh, because that's that's actually where it is. Uh, we should also probably snipe ourselves out of this personal union at some point, but for now, we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna ignore it. We'll deal with that later. Oh well, I I didn't even have to deal with that after after all, really. It just fell apart because of their own ineptitude. Ah uh, yes, obviously my natural rival in all of this, Sweden. Those, those, those goddamn pesky Swedes are. So uh, I haven't really started any offensive war so far in this game and that's uh, mostly because I've just been doing all this colonizing stuff down here in Braz Africa, Br Brazil Africa. But now that I've actually kind of glanced over to my left and north a bit, uh, I've noticed that the Ottomans in Arabia are incredibly big, and not only that, we've we've no Ming in the world. Um, the Ottomans are number one. I'm I'm all the way down here, at number four. They have double the development that I do. So yeah, maybe I should actually get some worthwhile provinces and not really worry about the, the Brazilian rainforest so much. Okay, so I just slightly zoned out for about an hour of gameplay here. So let me just catch you up real quickly. I went to all the Armands who brought in their ally Arabia. It hurt a lot, but I won. Albeit at the cost of literally every single Polish person that is alive down in Arabia at the moment. I'm now allied with Aragon, who just so happened to be the second greatest power in the world somehow with just this. And most importantly, Mallorca has peacefully become my vassal, which is great. Now I have somewhere to get pissed on the cheek. Oh, also, Polish China totally exists down here. Hey, the Empire of West Slavic. This, that's, uh, oh, it doesn't get any less painful as the wars go on. I mean, I gotta say, sure half of it is over uh, South Afro-America, but my name is looking pretty damn juicy across the map right now. For a uh, quick status update on the rest of the world though, because I too haven't really been paying attention, uh, what I can tell you is that it's pretty much a massive mess. For the most part though, most Europeans are incredibly weak right now, at least uh, from what I can tell. You see Aragon and France are both up here, but Arabia and the Ottomans, who are in their power alliance right now, just keep on pushing them back. Uh, <clears throat> Interestingly enough though, I did notice that the Prussians are indeed allied with the uh, Arabians, so uh, wh what the hell's that all about, Prussia? Oh wait, they'll ally my two. Okay, they're just a massive opportunist. I've also given up colonizing for the most part. Now, I have Polish La Plata, which formed as a colonial nation. Uh, uh, Polish Brazil never formed... Oh my god, what is happening to Colombia right now? That's right, kids. Polish Colombia. Not even, not even one. Yeah, I, I stopped colonizing now because we have run out of this thing called states, which means my corruption keeps going up through the roof because I can't stay any of this goddamn land. I have too much. I am quite literally complaining about the fact I have too much land. That's that's what it has come to in this goddamn game right now. But but good news is that I still own the uh, fan of youth down here. Don't know why I'd ever build something in the Fountain of Youth province though, considering the stats on it, but... Well, actually, I have not actually checked the, uh... Oh, there you go, the Reformation is actually surprisingly strong. Uh, nothing too noticeable though, because I don't... Is the, is the Catholic League formed at all? Ah, oh, it did, and it just turned into religious peace, so... And I think that's the one that happens if no war has formed, so once again, what the hell, Prussia, you massive... Pu Wait, they grew. They just grew in the, like, the time I just did those other clips. So, uh, I kind of would love to go ahead and start pushing into Europe, but uh, my massive truce timers with the Ottomans is like, yeah, I still got another 10 years on this one, and I can only take, like, four provinces each time, so it's gonna take a goddamn while. Meanwhile, just 
about everything in this general area is a is a massive mess, including Irish Columbia. That's a thing. There you go. I, I've kind of run out of people for me to fight at the moment, so I just made my uh, colony Polish La Plata have a war with Irish La Plata. It's the uh, 17th century version of dog fighting, I imagine. Also, for whatever reason, the Polish economy is incredibly well, so we're also going to funnel like 5,000 ducats into this. <laughs> this weird colonial dog fight. Oh, jeez, Jeff. Uh, I, I I was expecting a nice fair dog fight, but your your dog appears to have an AK-47 and a Harrier jump jet. I don't think that's fair. I mean, I know this is kind of cheating, but I I for the life of me, I need to see what is currently happening. And I it's actually not that bad. Although I haven't quite heard of the famous nation of. Mong Mao before. Oh, ooh. hey, you know that Mao guy? Pfft, yeah, what a Mong. It's uh, mostly been sniped up by Caution and Arakan, which were, I'm pretty sure, are both really small nations, actually, at the start of the game. Whereas Caution, one of the, the Mongol ones. Not the Mongol, the, uh, the the Qing ones. I know that Arakan definitely doesn't start over here, which means they've, uh, they've, they've emigrated just a little bit. Well, they still own a core... Uh, Wait, are they the guys that start over here? I, I'm not familiar with my Arakanese lore, honestly, and I've never paid too much attention to them in the game, but I've definitely seen them around before. The god problems down here. They're everywhere. Okay, whatever. Arakan is now overlord of China with Mong Mao. In North America, which hasn't changed, obviously, um, except France owns a bunch, and uh, Norway owns Vinland, obviously, and Aragon owns Mexico, which actually, that's pretty impressive. Oh, wait, Africa. Yeah, I forgot about Africa. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing's happening, let's be real. Oh, I know, Enaria's doing pretty well, I suppose. That's something notable, other than, you know, the fact Enaria just sounds like a debilitating disease of the anus. Ah, oh, John, why why are you, John, why, why are you feeling so bad today? Ah, oh, you know, just a real bad case of Enaria. <laughs> Wait, but I was just about to go out of spectator mode, but then I noticed that Prussia <laughs> is fighting a civil war currently between themselves and themselves, the Teutonic Order, their past selves. Um, that, that's, I've never seen something like that happen before in my life. So uh, I actually colonized these little provinces off of India a while ago because no one else had them. And the problem is they are pretty much useless other than a staging post to invade India because technically Poland right now is Asian. And the idea of an East Asian Asian company is apparently beyond paradox's logic. So, um, I can't do anything with these provinces. I can't make a trade company. I can't. I, I, they're useless. I'm just gonna have to invade India. Oh my god. Mushosha. That is such a fun word. Mushosh. Mushosha. The legendary treasure we wouldn't set out to find has. Wait. The, this is to do with the hunt for the seven seas. I don't want to, like, you know, blow anyone's, you know, trumpet here or anything, but we, we already found the Fountain of Youth and the entirety of South America. There is nothing left to discover here. Oh, scratch that. I just discovered that Sienese, Sienese Peru is a thing. Does Siena even exist? Oh, they do technically still exist. What the hell, Siena? You're way too big for your boots. Oh, how having my once every 50 years war with the Ottomans, and look who turned up on my side. It's Sienese Peru. Ah, yes. Prussia, ever the opportunist, <laughs> has decided to, uh... I, weren't you allied with Arabia? I'm a war of them right now, so I, I guess they've chosen their side. Although only half of them have. We don't know what the Teutons have decided yet. Well, technically that counts. I'm in Europe. We did it, boys. We can all go home. We have successfully saved Europe from the Ottomans and... Let me just look at the religious map. -mat. We definitely did not save Europe, did we? But yeah, that's probably going to be the end of the wacky, uh, fun Poland adventure. But uh, mostly because I can't go after waiting another 10 years to go to all the Almonds again. But yeah, finishing off at the Great Powers, I am number one, Aragon's number two, France number three, which is interesting. Armand's number four, Bahamanish, Japan, Bagel, and the Timur is at Arabia's. Did Arabia get completely knocked out? Oh my god, they did. What the hell happened to Arabia? But yeah, going over the rest of the world now, not not a lot actually happened, surprisingly. It was kind of exactly like last time, where the like little people down here just went over there, and then the people over here went over there, and France just didn't push into Europe at all. They don't, they don't seem to do any fighting. It's um pretty interesting. Bohemia wasn't as big either as last time, so I, I, I really don't know. But um, I guess we do the snap mod once again. We'll try like 
switch it up a little bit so the big nations actually fight a bit more, but we'll see. Ah, but yeah, so I hope either way you enjoyed this weird little video of uh, just a weird selection of mods, and I hope you uh, leave a like down below, leave a suggestion for any more weird EU4 mods you'd like me to check out. But until next time, guys, I I just I just can't stand looking at this anymore. It is it is quite literally time to stop.